Listen, what we're seeing here, I believe, is just very clever marketing. They're not actually going to launch this phone alongside the Galaxy S10. If anything, we will just see another teaser to this device. It ain't ready, folks. And you can get your very own Galaxy Fold starting on April 26th. <sighs> Shit. Want daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Of course you do! Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, the show that gives you all it is tech news from one geek. That is me to another that is you. I know for the audience, for you guys, this is a monumental day. A day you have all been waiting for. A day where I was wrong and had to come on the show and tell you I was wrong. So here... Here is that day. The day has come, children. Sweet Jern. <laughs> Sweet Jern was wrong. All right, so story numero uno for the day is about Apple. Uh, it seems Tim Cook doesn't want to just take your money. He wants to be your piggy bank. We've heard rumblings of this before. It's not exactly a new thing, but we got some more deetsies, hot deetsies. According to a report from the Wall Street Journal, we're talking like later this year, we could see a joint credit card uh, launched from Apple and Goldman Sachs. Am I the only one that every time I say Goldman Sachs, I visualize a golden nut sack? Golden Sachs? Yeah, just me? Okay. I mean, we already know that Apple is looking to build services up elsewhere to make money, and this could be one of those services, I guess. And if anything, I guess this will offer some deeper integration with Apple Wallet. Listen, I think Apple should do whatever they think they need to do, and you as a customer, if you want to do this, that is cool. <laughs> I'm just like, I think Apple gets enough of our money, and this is one of those things where like, I'm just real worried about people putting all of their eggs, and by eggs, I mean money, in one basket, and by basket, I mean Apple. I think, I think maybe we should draw the line somewhere, I'm just saying. Okay, so as you know, the Samsung event happened yesterday, but uh, just a small little gem that slipped right through is Huawei trolling Samsung. I mean, they were putting out promos that looked exactly like Samsung's promos for the Unpacked event. And I mean, they were doing all of this to promote their own event happening next month, saying things like, the countdown to the next big thing is on. The next big thing, obviously, a direct kick in the dick to Samsung. Another good one is where true innovation is brought to light. I mean, it's killing me that all of these look exactly like the Samsung promos. Uh, Huawei. I want to be impressed, but then I saw this one. They seemingly trolled Samsung for not having face unlock on their new phones by saying, get ahead of the game, 3D face unlock on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro for better security on your device. Listen, Huawei, I'm all for the trolling. I think it's funny. I just want to point something out. So you're trolling them for not having a, a face unlock feature in these phones. Um, meanwhile, they put the world's first ultrasonic fingerprint scanner under the display panels and you're trolling them, right? You're saying, get ahead of the game, but you weren't ahead of the game, were you? You're trolling them with a feature that you literally copied from the iPhone. So like, I think, I think we should calm our little peenies down, don't you? All right, all right, let's talk about the Samsung event. Let's do it. So yesterday, Samsung held their event. There's no way you missed this because every YouTuber ever put out a video about this. So I will make this part quick. Personally, I think the Galaxy S10 and Galaxy S10 Plus are beautiful devices, but I gotta be honest, I think the best looking device yesterday that was announced was the Galaxy S10e. Like, I really freaking love that phone. Don't at me. That's the best phone. But then, of course, we have the Galaxy Fold, a phone that I told you we would not see released or launched yesterday and technically it's not released like they didn't release it alongside the galaxy s10 that's not really what happened but i was still wrong they showed us way way more of the device than i was expecting and it was honestly a really really nice surprise i'm actually kind of happy to be wrong about this one they killed it samsung absolutely killed it in marketing this year all the intentional leaks just out in the open of the galaxy s10 and galaxy s10 plus were perfectly distracting so we didn't even think about that foldable phone we didn't see anything about it until just like 24 hours before the event it started leaking but that's about it they really really surprised me with this like in the best way marketing was freaking great 
but I still stand by what I said about the foldable phone. I think foldable displays and that sort of technology is the future, but I do not think that this concept, which in my opinion is extremely flawed, the concept of having a phone in your pocket that you can fold out into a tablet, no, it's just not the future. I'm not buying it. And yeah, I know the price is high. The price seems crazy, but I'm not gonna be one of those YouTubers that's like, what? $2,000, oh my God, it's so much money. It's a Gen 1 product and it's crazy freaking technology. It's insane technology. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, I was wrong and it kind of feels good. It feels good to finally be wrong about something. But when I was like admitting that I was wrong about this on Twitter, uh, for some reason, people started saying some other stuff as well. Both on Twitter and on YouTube, people were like, you were wrong, and you were also wrong about the headphone jack. Why won't you admit that? You said they were going to get rid of the headphone jack, and they did not. Because Sammy, almighty Samsung, listens to us. They listen to their customers. The headphone jack is here to stay. Okay, so just to be clear, you want me to say that I was wrong about, like, them showing the foldable phone at the event? Uh, and also I was wrong about the headphone jack? Uh, were you paying attention or like, no. In previous episodes, I told you that I strongly believe Samsung would be getting rid of the headphone jack in 2019 Galaxy devices. In fact, at one point I said that I think it would even begin with the Note 10, but it seems it's happening even sooner because the Galaxy Fold, Samsung's future of mobile tech, apparently the future does not include a headphone jack. There is no headphone jack on this device. So here is a 2019 Galaxy phone, no headphone jack. And that's not it. The 5G version of the Galaxy S10 also does not have a headphone jack. Ah, uh, yes, I have been redeemed. You win some, you lose some, I guess. If you've ever been looking up your favorite music and suddenly you see this, then you should probably hop on the VPN train before you get left at the station, baby. And there is no better way to get into VPNs than our friends over at Hotspot Shield. Hotspot Shield is one of the most convenient, reliable VPNs I have ever had the pleasure of using. They got 30 patents, a unique proprietary VPN transport protocol that optimizes multiple server connections that are stronger and faster over longer distances. You just open up the app, hit connect, and all of a sudden, every website you visit all of the data you send and your location is completely 100% hidden. They ain't never gonna find you. All, of course, on Hotspot Shield's blazing network of thousands of servers across the whole world. This is your gateway to truly accessing the internet with no borders. So what do you say you hop on this train, join the over 650 million other users across the globe? Yeah, it's a lot of people on train. You can click the link in the description to get started today. Of course, huge thanks to Anchor Free. Hotspot Shield for supporting this show. And that's the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something. If you did, hit that like button. If you hate my stupid face, hit the dislike button. If you're new here, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>